Hello, hello, I am back again and today I want to do a slightly different video. I want to show you my entire Fauna Nacetti collection. Now before I start, I need to warn you, I have spent a lot of money, more money than I care to admit to, and they're not cheap, but I truly love them and I've been collecting them for quite a long time and I just, I love them. I think they're wonderful and it's such a big indulgence, but they're just, they're just perfect. So I'm going to talk you through them. I'm sorry if anybody's offended by the price and how much I've spent, but I have been buying them for a long time and I do truly love them. And I think they're also a bit of an investment. So I'm going to talk all the way through it. So I'm going to start with the first Fauna Seti candle I ever got. It's this one. It's in the fluorescent. Still smells incredible. But I've got a sad story with this one. So I discovered Fauna Seti when I went into Sketch and it just always smells so good in there like it smells divine and I was lucky enough to be seated by a window which had a fauna city candle on the on the windowsill and I was like god that smells incredible like I thought it was absolutely stunning I'd never smelled these candles before I just was like they are beautiful and I love the way they look as well and then I think I was in either Selfridges or Liberty and I saw them and I was like the candles the sketch candles and I was like god I love them Anyway, I was banging on about them for a long, long time. And eventually my boyfriend went online, he went to Amara and he bought me one, which was this one. And I was, I was beyond thrilled. Like, oh, it still smells so good. Anyway, I was beyond thrilled. And then one day I was taking an Instagram photo and I'm really clumsy. I dropped the lid, I chipped it. I don't know if you can see. And I honest to God started crying. <laughs> And then a few weeks later, my boyfriend noticed the chip and he was like, oh my God, there's a chip. Did it come like that? And then I started to cry again. And he felt so sorry for me that he bought me, secretly, he bought me a second one, exactly the same. He knew how much I loved it. And I was like, oh my God, what have you done? They're so expensive. So I have two identical. I, <laughs> I can't, it seems crazy now, but I'm like, I have two identical. They're both the same scent love them both but that's why i have two and then one year just before christmas i bought myself i'm so careful with this i bought myself a humdinger i bought the 1.9 kilogram candle pot it was just before we moved into our house we were living at my boyfriend's dad's house while we were coming out of rented and into a bought house and it takes longer than you think so I was kind of miserable at the time, to be honest. And I bought myself this and I was like, when my house is ready, I am gonna burn this and I'm gonna be so excited and I'm gonna be living the dream. So <laughs> it was kind of a symbolic one for me. Again, it's the same scent, it's the flora. It doesn't actually say on it, but it's the same scent, which is kind of like a leathery, woodsy, sandalwoody, florally, delicious, jasmine-y, rosiness, it's gorgeous like it's special. So I have that one, which I love. Oh God, this is getting embarrassing. So then I got bought a gift from Liberty. Didn't like it. It was just after Christmas. I took it back. I got a credit note. And then a few weeks later, I bought myself this one, <laughs> which is the mid-sized one. I can't remember how much it is. I think it's 900 grams, just under a kilogram. So it's smaller than the one I've just shown you, bigger than the first one. And I just loved it. I thought this corally purpliness was gorgeous. My favorite fauna settings do tend to be the faces. I think they're beautiful. And often the face on one side is often slightly different to the face on the other side. Although not with this one. <laughs> with some of them they are. I got this owly one because I just thought it was so cute. We have a green room and I often have it in there. I sometimes have it in my office. This is a different scent. This one is a lot greener. It's a lot more vetiver and bergamot and sand i think sandalwood as well but it's a lot greener it's a lot lighter it's a lot fresher i like this one less only because i do tend to love kind of heavier woodsier smokier more oriental scents like the floral but at the same time this one's so pretty and i kind of picked it for the print is that awful should i not admit that i mean it's gorgeous then it's gorgeous but i do just re i love the original floral i oh, just love it so that's my owl one. Oh God, I'm so embarrassed. But I have another giant one. So this is my second 
1.9 kilogram candle. This one's a slightly different scent. It's kind of somewhere between the two. So the other one is Secret Garden. This one is the Flora. And then this one, I can't remember the name of it, but it is somewhere between the two. It's a little bit lighter and fresher than the floral, but it is, it's still quite jasmine-y, sandalwood, florally. It's just, I'd say a little bit less leathery, a little bit fresher. Definitely more intense than the Secret Garden, the L one, but definitely less smoky and leathery than the floral. I had this one in my kitchen because we've got quite a lot of blues in our kitchen. I just thought it was gorgeous. I kind of, it was the finishing touch to the kitchen for me. God, this is, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I've got so many. I'm a little bit embarrassed about how many I have. And then the next one I have, I've got to be really careful with, so bear with me. Then the last one I have is not actually a candle, it's a diffuser sphere, I think they call it. But again, it features the face and the flowers and the bees and it's got the diffuser reeds in it, the oil which comes in a big canister and you can also re you can buy more canisters of these. So these are quite nice because you're essentially buying one product and then you just buy the top up of the oils. This one smells gorgeous as well. I love it, I think it's beautiful. I love the round shape of it. I just think it's really special, really luxy. I know it's an extravagant candle collection, but I just genuinely, I just, I love them. So with the smaller candles, these are 300 grams each. They have about 60 hours of burn time and they cost around 155 pounds each. Admittedly, it's a lot of money. I can't even deny. It's like three times the amount of a Jo Malone candle, but at the same time, with the Jo Malone candles, you get a standard looking pot and with these, you get basically a piece of art. I buy these as much for the pot as I do for the scent inside, which is why with the L one, I love the scent, but I don't, I don't love it as much as this scent, but I just really love the print. And also I'm gonna justify myself here. If you look on eBay, people do sell the empty pots and they sell them for actually quite a lot of money because they are so beautiful and they're so, they're so desirable even without the wax inside that I do actually think they're a genuine investment. And also the artist Fornacetti, who created all the prints, he is actually a surrealist artist that's basically had a bit of a resurgence. So they do they do become a little bit more rare. You can you can sell them on even after you've burnt them. And I just I think they're just beautiful objects to have in the house as well. Now the larger size candles, I'm so nervous about I'm so nervous about picking these up because I've dropped a Fornacetti in the past and chipped it. But these ones, these are the 1.9 kilogram ones. These cost 495. I know it's a lot, I'm embarrassed, but I love them. Please don't judge me. <laughs> um, so these cost 495 pounds each, but they do have a whopping 240 hours of burn time, which is six times more than the small ones contain, which is how I've kind of justified these ones to myself. They are triple the price, or just slightly more than triple the price, but they do contain six times the amount of burn time, which I think is quite amazing. So I do truly love these. When they are burnt down completely, I will be turning them into plant pots, or maybe just like, I don't know, putting something special in. But I do think you can use the pots afterwards. They do they look gorgeous afterwards. So yes, they will probably become coffee cups, plant pots, I don't know, whatever I can think, vases, anything I want. Like I have bought them as much for the pot as I have for the candle. And also even when they're not burnt, they still fill the room with scent. Just the scented wax is so potent that you can actually, you can actually smell them even when they're not burnt, which is amazing. But yeah, that is my collection. I know it's, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down before I drop it. I know it's a little bit of an extravagant collection but I truly, truly, truly love them. And I don't know, I guess I've just invested a little bit more than I planned to. I thought I was gonna buy one full Nassetti candle for my life and then be done with it. And next thing you know, I've got a whole host of them. But yes, that is my video. My favorite scent is the floral. I do think the larger size candles, if you can afford to splash out on them, they do have a lot more burn time. And I also think they just, they look more fancy in your house. They look more special, they feel more special. And also in the long run, I think they're gonna make a lot more of a beautiful plant pot or vase or whatever you plan to do with them. Oh, I would also look out for Black Friday sales. This larger one, the first one, the first of the two larger ones I got, I did actually buy this 
on a Black Friday deal. I completely forgot. And I had 20% off this one. It was from Selfridges. So I was really pleased about that. So yeah, do look out for them on Black Friday. They never go on sale. They're very hard to find on discount anywhere. But yes, your best bet of getting them marginally cheaper is on Black Friday sales. That is kind of everything. I hope this video has been of help. I hope you've liked seeing my collection and hopefully I will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.